And George, what is the main thing you think you learned about yourself tonight in the ring? I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. everything but what I am good at I'll do to my best and if I keep on improving on these little things I do good I think I could definitely knock out anyone and have many opponents. Do you think that Anthony, a lot of your mindset helped you tonight? You talked about military mindset. mindset yeah because uh, like to, to, to get knocked down to hurt someone get hurt and to take someone out in the championship rounds where I've never been before it's just a testament to what training is about lifestyle and military mindset that's what it's all about because if you don't live it you come back up yeah? you also talked about uh, riding shots and hiding shots in heavyweight boxing mm -hmm. um, how, how did that go tonight you saw what happened didn't it? Yeah. Oh, come on top so, yeah it worked and so a lot of people in the United States might, might have seen you for the first time tonight. Apart from the performance and the man you delivered it, what, what should an American audience know about you as a uh, fighter? As a, as a man? Forget, I think they don't look at me just for boxing. I think they're just excited about like, the, the division, the characters in the sport. They know we can fight, there's no doubt about that. But I think they're, like, they're buying back into the people of boxing who are representing the sport. Um, and there's probably not a good guy, I like fighting. And uh, we don't back down, we, we, we'll go for whatever. And now we're at, we're at the forefront at the minute. We can't get too complacent and sit down and enjoy these times. We have to get up and defend them again. I think people know that um, we will definitely get up and keep on going out on our show with that military mindset. Are you ready for those people outside the laundry? Uh, so, <laughs> I've got to pay my debt, yeah, number one. I've got to feel like that big. <laughs> Hopefully it'll swerve it. But am I ready for it? Are you ready for that? The, the way this is going to go in terms of the, your global attention? Uh, and, I'm a people's uh, person. Like, on the estate, there's loads of us anyway, so it's pretty chill. Um, as I said, like, everyone in the arena, I probably know <coughs> 20,000 of these people. It's crazy. I'm a local boy. So um, it's no different, it's no problem. The only thing, as I said, that the attention gets difficult is when I'm late to training, because Rob doesn't get it. <laughs> Rob's not interested in me getting to the gym. <laughs> as long as I'm not late for training, I don't mind the attention, because as I said, the main thing I like about what I'm doing is that I know there's some kid that's gonna come up and be inspired by what we're achieving, and go on and do better and bigger things than what we set out to do. So that's, that's why I don't mind the attention, because I know it's got a positive rebound. And anyway, we, the German journalists, we were discussing uh, when Vladimir the last time brought such a great performance and we came to the conclusion that from his 29 title fights, including today's, this probably was his best performance ever as a, in the title, a title mm -hmm. fight. He, he, we compared it with the fight when he beat uh, Samuel Peter yeah. when his career was at stake. Yeah. So what you think about that, you will probably beat the best, also 41, the best Vladimir Klitschko ever. Yeah, no, I always knew, well not always, I always thought that I would be facing the better Vladimir Klitschko because everything he was saying, he's obsessed. Um, and I feel good about that. Um, that I fought the better Vladimir Klitschko, not the complacent Vladimir Klitschko, the guy who realized his mistakes and wanted to get them right. And, and as I said, I can only improve from it. If I don't improve from it, I'm a silly man. So it'll be interesting to see what the next two to three years hold from my career, building on what I took from this evening. Anthony, your, your manager said um, it's just the beginning, but um, uh, aren't you afraid that Vladimir might have been the best opponent uh, you can have in your career? In the sense, who do I fight next? Yeah, in the sense, I mean, uh, Vladimir was waiting all his career for an opponent like you? Mm. I've been, yeah, I was waiting for an opponent like that as well. But what's good for my career is that there's so many other good heavyweights up and coming. There's no one with the experience that Vladimir has, but there's heavyweights that are coming up in the game that are very talented as well, that I can definitely mingle with. So it was good to compete with Vladimir, who is very experienced, and he can challenge me in different ways, because he's a veteran, and then the other guys would be raw and hungry, just like myself, so that would be another clash between 
instead of like a veteran against a young lion, it would just be two hungry fighters coming together and the best man will win again. The so there's some good nights in every division for sure. Anthony, do you think that could have been a, a better lesson uh, than you learned in, in, in this fight um, um, regarding experience and your development as a fighter? And, and maybe is that experience more, more precious than, than one of the belts for you? Exactly. What, what I learned is more important than anything because the memories, the experiences last forever. Um, and when it's all said and done, these things slowly disappear. Like, like Vladimir's career, these belts move on to the next champions, but what he's learned is what makes him, made him a powerful man and made him be able to come back. So the experience I can gain is more important than the belts, and I agree with what you're saying.